What's up YouTube? It's me, your boy Jedi, back again. Today, we're going to take a look at the Marvel Legends Spider-Man Retro Wave Rhino figure. Starting off with the packaging, we have the classic retro style blister card. As you can see, it is massive, very heavy figure, really nice open packaging on the front. So you can see the figure, the old head, and the two extra hands. Really nice artwork. And then around on the back, we've got a little read up for Rhino. If you want to pause and read it, be my guest. Nice little bit of uh, retro style artwork there. The rest of Series 2. Uh, really great figures all around. I only bothered picking up Shocker, Hammerhead, and Ben Riley Spider Man, but I sold him on. Wasn't a massive fan. I got like a little retro style uh, diagram on the back too. Uh, in packaging, it looks really nice. If you're an inbox collector, I can see the appeal to collecting these retro card. But me myself, I'm not. So for the first time on camera, let's open a figure. Let's see. Go straight to the bottom. Let's get up this uh, clamshell packaging. Take a closer look. And here we have Rhino out of the packaging properly. Uh, quite basic what it comes with. It comes with two alternate open hands, which pop surprisingly off. Oh. Come on with these. So now you've got two open hands, two fisted hands. Leave the fisted ones on for the review real quick. Then we have a alternate head sculpt, which is a very stoic, stern looking dude. Alexi looks pissed, probably more pissed than in this head sculpt. And again, to change over your Oh, don't like that sound. Cool. pop in. Pretty easy to swap out. Do not like that sound when you take the head out of it though. There you go. Alright, start with just <coughs> a look at the detailing. As you can see, he is really, really nicely sculpted. Quite a big, chunky dude. Uh, all through the arms, shoulders, the hands. The rhino feet, as you can see, looks really, really nice. The face sculpt is new, I believe. The eye on the side of his head looks great. The horns are sculpted really nicely. Uh, yeah, it's pretty nice looking, to be honest. Like, sculpt-wise, paint-up-wise, he's, you know, the grey's nice. The dry brushing on it is pretty decent. I'd be lying if I said I'm not going to add probably some more detail with the dry brushing and washes and stuff like that. Just because I can't help myself anymore. I have an addiction. Help me. Uh, yeah, no, he's, he's nice, man. The sculpt's good. The paint looks really nice. Uh, camera's out of focus because it's ass. Let's see. There we go. I know he's a big striking looking dude. Articulation wise, you can look left, right, hinge down, hinge up. Not that far, down that far. Not really any. Uh, yeah, you got a little bit of left to right, but it's not a crazy amount. Because he's big old steroid induced traps. Uh, arms can go out that far. Nothing too crazy. Swivel at the bicep. Single jointed elbow. Which goes about that far. Fucking ass, bro. A hinge at the wrist. It's nice and it spins. It's cool. Got a standard up crunch. It goes forward this much. Goes back none. A swivel at the waist. Legs got this far. They go up, 
a decent size for a man this big. Got rotation at the top of the thigh, single joint knee, a hinge in the foot, and ankle pivot with that. I get standard articulation for a big dude, which is a shame because this is just to build a figure, minus the big ass shoulder pads and my two new heads. I don't think he had like two sets of hands with the build a figure. But if you can go through the effort of repackaging it and giving it a new head and removing stuff, surely you could easily go in and add double jointed elbows, double jointed knees, nicer looking fucking like joints at the hips here instead of these giant ass ugly ass balls. Well, there's no need for it. It's, it does its job. But I'm just, all right, I'm waffling now because I'm mad. I'm not mad. For the 23 99 I paid for it because of Hasbro's fuck up when giving it to UK stores. I'm not mad. Would I pay the full retail price that they're asking for it? Fuck no. Hell no. It's nice, but that's it. It's just nice. It's nothing crazy. It could have been so much better. Alright, let's do some height comparisons and stop hearing me cry. Here we have Rhino next to the deluxe monster venom and the deluxe retro kingpin you see he's a little bit taller than kingpin thanks to the horn he's a around about the same size and that looks a bit taller than venom too shout out to soul river customs for this sick head sculpt on venom that i painted absolutely love it right i digress on to the next one and here we have him next to Series 2 Retro Shocker and the Series 2 1 Retro Electro. As you can see, he's a he's pretty damn big compared to the standard guys. Let's move out the way and get some more Sinister 6 goodness in here. We have him next to the Marvel Select Sandman and I can't remember what wave it was. But the Marvel Legends Vulture. And again, as you can see, he fits in really nicely with these two. But height wise, you can't you can't shit on it. It, it looks great. Sandman looks solid next to him for being a select. Vulture looks tiny and frail next to him, which makes sense because he's old as shit. Uh let me see if I can think of anything else to go. Size comparison villain wise before I jump on over to the heroes. And last but not least, we can't show five of the Sinister Six, you know what I mean? Might as well throw Mysterio in there. Uh, this got a custom painted head by me again. But again, scale-wise, yeah, it's good. It's what you expect for a big-ass figure, you know what I mean? He looks great. And for our last size comparison, here we have him next to a Marvel Legends. Daredevil. Uh, Into the Spider-Verse. Mars. He wants to stand. Mars Morales. Oh, dropped his ass. And an ultimate. Peter Parker. Again, compared to Miles and Peter, he looks great because they're teenagers. He's a huge, scary dude. And then next to Daredevil, I think he scales pretty well as well. Uh, let's go into final thoughts. On to my final thoughts. If you missed out on the builder figure, go ahead and grab him. If you can get him for the cheap ass twenty three ninety nine option, that's even better. Like, all right, get out of this body, bitch. He's a pretty nice figure. Oh, but you know the sculpt work, it's there. I mean, it's old sculpt work, but it's there. The the paint apps are nice. They're solid. They're Nothing crazy, but they're good enough. It's, it's going to look great on the shelf. The on it heads, you know, like I said, man, the, the eye on this rhino head sculpt is really nice. The paint apps on the face, you can see again, they're, they're pretty clean. They're pretty, they're pretty good. They're really solid. It's nice that we get alt hands for them. Uh, if you like, 
Spider-Man. This is probably a must-have character for you. If you don't really care about Spider-Man or street-level heroes, you're wrong. But again, he's not a necessity. He's pretty good. He's, he's, he's... Ugh, I don't like the articulation on the bigger figures anymore. They, they do my head in because you can do so much more with them than what we get. Uh, and for people that like to pose stuff around, take pictures, it can get annoying and aggravating. Also notice he has a really weird fucking dimple, like, in the middle of his chest. You can't see it on camera, but like, this bit, like, right here, is stupidly deep. You should probably go see a doctor. It's, it's a good figure, alright? If you can find it for a decent price, pick it up. If you can find it for retail, and you really want it and really like it, pick it up. I ain't gonna tell you what to do, alright? I'm not your mum. Even if your mum tells you not to buy it, buy it if you want it, alright? Don't listen to her. It's, it's solid, all right, it's it's nice. do look all right on my shelf. Yeah, he's dummy thick though too, damn. Uh, yeah, man, he'll look good with my Spider-Man villains. I'm, I'm happy that I paid a decent price for him. I didn't have to pay the full like 40 odd quid. I think it's like 45.99 or like 49.99, which is either way it's stupid. But, He's solid, alright, the sculpt work is nice, the paint apps are nice, could probably do a little bit more when it comes to like the, the dry brushing on the, the chest and that, because there's so much detail here that it hasn't even touched, and I think if they gradually swapped from a darker to a highlight on these like points up here, because they've done dry brushing so wrong, like, these bits on his chest here that are most raised are the darkest, which is just stupid. The highest points on his abs are the darkest. That, you know, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to know that that's not how fucking light works. But, Joe Hasbro, I'll give you a C for effort. Uh, he's, he's not bad, he's not terrible, he could have just been better. And that will wrap this one up. So I guess, till next time. Bye.